Hey everybody, my name's Ben. Welcome back to another Beard Guys video. Big thank you to PUBG for sponsoring this video as we go over my top tips on how new players in PUBG can learn to be a better teammate. My experience is primarily on console with over 6,000 games played and over 500 wins. But these tips can apply to PUBG just as easily on PC as they can on Xbox and PS4. If you have any questions about PUBG you want to ask me, feel free to jump into one of our live streams on twitch.tv slash thebeardguys where we stream every single weekday and ask me over there. My very first experience of playing PUBG was playing squads on PC way back before it ever released on console and there are many many things I've learned since then that have helped me become a half decent teammate. So time to dive into the tips. Number one, communication is key. Good comms are absolutely key in squads. Try and share information to your teammates that you think will be useful to them. The locations of enemies are especially critical. Use the compass at the top of the screen to give accurate directions along with a reference point to further help them pinpoint the target. Preferably something more specific than by the tree or he's over there. You can also use the in-game pinging system by clicking the right stick to place markers for your teammates to see. It's not just enemies that your teammates need to know about. If you find useful pieces of loot that you don't need but your teammates might, then call them out. If you get knocked and your teammates may not have noticed, call it out. If you see signs of enemy activity such as open doors or gun skins on the ground, call them out. Good comms can help you pick apart other teams much more easily. Number two, share your loot. Be sure to share loot around and not just hog everything for yourself. If you have a bunch of meds and your teammates have very little, you should share them out for a better chance of success in winning the match. The same applies for ammo and anything else important that you feel might be of more benefit to a teammate than to yourself. Number three, kill before looting. When you're in the middle of a battle, focus on eliminating the enemy team whilst keeping your own teammates alive rather than diving on a loot crate as soon as you see one. Unless you feel you need something absolutely critical because you have no armor or ammo or meds, then you should keep focused on clearing out the enemies in the area with your squad, then loot once it's clear. Number four, don't crowd the loot crates. Following on from the previous tip, this one is a real pet hate of mine. Don't all bundle onto one loot crate at the same time. We're all guilty of doing it at times, but it's incredibly annoying when you're looting a crate and trying to pick things up, but keep picking up the wrong thing because your teammate is also taking things out at the same time. It wastes both your time and puts you both at risk. Try and be patient and not load several players onto one crate. It's also good to not all be bunched up in a very small space as it makes you vulnerable to attack, especially by grenade. And if you've just finished taking out a squad, then a lot of people probably just heard you do it. Number five, stick together. Whilst it's not advisable to stand together in a huddle around an enemy crate, sticking more generally together as a group is important. You often see teammates left miles behind whilst they're slowly looting away or someone who pushes off ahead like his John Rambo and this leaves the individuals vulnerable and the team weakened. You don't have to be on each other's heels all the time but in general it's best to be able to reach each other on foot in a small amount of time. If one of you gets in a fight you want to be able to support them as quickly as possible. Possible exceptions to this include splitting up over a wide area early game when looting if you feel it's likely your area is uncontested or maybe when you're engaging enemies and attempting to spread out your angles and flank them. Number six, take advantage of distracted enemies. One of the biggest differences I notice when playing squads instead of solos is how often you get the chance to shoot at someone who isn't attempting to shoot back at you. These are absolutely golden opportunities that should not be missed. When the enemy team are all busy shooting at your teammates, take advantage and make your shots count. A teammate who is being shot at by multiple enemies and not getting knocked is doing a great job of being a distraction. So make sure you thank them for their services by doing your best to shoot the people who are busy trying to kill them. 
If the tables are turned and you're the one being shot at by everybody, do your best to dodge, duck, dip, dive and dodge and stop yourself getting knocked whilst you pray that your teammates sort the rest out. Number 7. Flank your enemies Following on nicely from the previous tip, you should always be thinking about how you can flank your enemy. Unless the situation forces it, it's rarely a good idea to have all of your squad bunched up and shooting from one angle. Try and spread out a little when engaging the enemy, or even split out one or two players wider together to attempt to flank. Spreading the angles like this, especially against a team who are locked down in one position, can give you a huge advantage. With the angle spread, it becomes increasingly hard for the enemy to find decent cover to protect themselves from all of your team, and can allow you some easy shots into their sides. Number 8. Focus on enemies who are still on their feet. It's easy to get the bloodlust and want to finish enemies as quickly as possible, but enemies who are still standing and firing guns at you should be your top priority over knocked enemies. Whilst it is useful to finish downed enemies to stop them getting revived or giving intel on your position, you don't want to distract yourself emptying shots into an already doomed enemy whilst your teammates or even yourself are still getting shot at. Also, keep in mind that as soon as you have finished off one of the enemy squad, they are very likely to focus themselves on trying to return the favour. There's not much honour on the battlefield, but occasionally not finishing a downed enemy can make their teammates not finish one of yours, and you can fight your way through a situation whilst keeping all your teammates alive. Number 9. Support your team in fights It probably sounds obvious, but it can take a while to get into the mindset of prioritising keeping your team alive above all else. If one or several of your teammates gets into an unexpected fight, you should be running out the door like a firefighter on call. The response should almost always be to drop everything and head straight to them to support them. Even if you have bad loot, no armor and half health, having several of you there can overwhelm the enemy and keep your team intact. Even hesitating for a few seconds whilst you grab a little bit more loot can make the difference between losing a teammate or keeping them, which could go on to cost you the game. It's up to you to consider how useful you'll be in the situation with the loot that you currently have, but even with next to no loot, you can still distract an enemy and swing the odds back in your favor. Number 10. Don't scream at your teammates to revive you. It's useful to call out when you do get knocked, as your teammates may not have noticed if you weren't in their line of sight but don't keep yelling at them to come and revive you at all costs. You'll have to trust in their judgement on when it's safe to revive you. It is important, however, to call out early to remind them if you've been knocked already that match, since you'll bleed out much more quickly and this might catch them out. Number 11. Be ready to drop smoke. Smoke grenades are critical for success in team matches on PUBG. Make sure you have some available at all times and be ready to pop them in an instant if one of your teammates gets knocked or if you find yourself in a sticky situation without cover. I try and have smokes as my default throwable selected when playing squads as much as I can so I can drop one as quickly as possible when the situation calls for it. Just watch out for frags flying into the smoke once it's down. The more teammates you have on their feet at the end of the game, the easier it's going to be. Number 12. Remember to have fun. This is arguably the most important of all. PUBG is a very unforgiving game, and with so many players on that map and possible different outcomes, even the best laid plans can fall apart. Try to focus on enjoying the game and not get too caught up in losing sleep when you lose and die, because you are going to lose and die a lot. No one wants to listen to their salty teammate raging at them and blaming them for screwing things up so try not to be that player. Of course, arguing with your friends over whose fault something was has always been a cornerstone of multiplayer gaming. Just make sure you're not making them go shopping for a new teammate. I would always rather play PUBG with someone who is bad at the game but fun to play with than someone who is a top ranked player but annoying as hell. So those are my top tips to be a better teammate in PUBG. Hopefully you can now go out and bring home some chicken and impress your friends with your newfound talents, or at least make them want to invite you to play again. If you found the video useful at all, please click the like button and sub to the channel for more content like this. And if you have any tips you think your teammates need to hear, then leave them in the comments down below. 
Thank you again to PUBG for sponsoring this video, and thank you very much for watching. My name is Ben, we are The Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time.